Welcome friends, I'm Will Whitfield with W3 Productions. Have you ever ran into a situation where you just didn't have enough computing power to render your Blender scene? Well, this may be the option for you. Cheapit Render Farm is a distributed render farm service that's not based on current, based on points, so practically it's free. How the points work is that there's a client you can download and use the client, it will render frames for, from other people's projects. And you get points on a calculation. And the more points you have when you submit a project, spend those points, but the amount of points you have at that time determines where your project is in the queue to be rendered. So if you have the most points out of everybody online at that time, you get higher up in the queue towards the front. If you have negative points or few points, your project gets later. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look around. First part I want to show you is the client. Uh, for Windows machines, it's an exe executable. Um, and I believe for Mac and Linux, it is a Java web client at the time. I haven't checked this out in a while. But anyway, so you open up this client and it will download a, it will search for a, a job to do, basically a frame. And it will uh, leave a version of Blender in the background, depending on what the project uh, demands. So if somebody submitted a project for Blender 2.65, it's going to send that version of Blender to your computer temporarily in the background. I won't open up any screen or anything. It'll just be this client right here. Anyways, it will render that frame, and you'll see the frame down here in this uh, window, but that's the, all you see of that person's project. That one frame, you can't really, unless you screenshot this page, you really wouldn't see um, what their, the whole project is. So, also, it will not allow you to submit, uh, well, it will allow you to submit your project, but it won't run anything dealing with scripts or drivers or movie files uh, all of those won't run through the ship sheep it render client uh, for security reasons so you don't have to worry about that in the settings you can choose um what your whether you can use compute devices cpu or your video card and what priority you're going to give it client so you can see this is how many active projects there are out there right now at this moment. And this how many these are how many machines that are currently connected rendering frames. And based on the number of projects, these are how many frames um are being requested among these forty three projects. This is the number of points I have. So usually when I have this many points, I'm like fourth or sixth. Try to upload a project moment, and this is this particular section session. How many points I've earned? So I paused it, so I'm not earning any, any points, and I haven't earned really any frames. Um, duration of that session. We'll go ahead and exit. Kill it. I don't want to render anything while I'm trying to record because that much type my machine will be very clear. On, I think it is. This is the home page, and download the client. You go to start it to download your client. More information about what it is. On the next page, I want to show you upload a file. So, based on the number number of points I had, I just showed you I'm fourth in the waiting list out of 43 projects. Blender, you can render on many um, Blender render engines. Uh, internal Evian cycles. All support it. Gives you different rules for what you can and cannot do. Um, your frame should be under 30 minutes on a quad core machine. Uh, they have a reference machine, so your points are based off whether your hardware is better or worse, faster or slower than their reference machine, which is usually the middle of the line type of machine. So I think in this case it's a quad core i5 or i7 at this moment. 
no offensive content, things like that. Um, if your frame does take longer than 30 minutes to render, you can break up the frame into quads or, or more, and it will send those different parts of the frame as tiles to individual machines, and then when they're done, they'll put I'm going to try to upload a file right now and see if it's starting anytime soon. project. Uh, that was a fairly small project, only a couple, less than a megabyte, I believe. Uh, the maximum file size is 500 megabytes, so keep that in mind if your project has image files and things like that included. So you hit send file, it will upload, and it'll take you to the screen where you can choose the render engine, and I think it reads in the file to get I thought that said in there, but you can change it here as well. You can uh, say that Want to enable other people there or not? Sometimes you may have quirks with one type or another, so you may want to enable one but disable the other. Decide how many frames of the project you want rendered. Whether you not want to split frames between different users. Hit add blend, and it will send your project off to be start to get started. Hit the administration button, and it'll take you to your project. This is the progress of your project. These uh, squares are individual frames representative of your project. White is waiting to be rendered, yellow is in progress, and blue is finished. I'll g while that uh, gets going, because sometimes it really can take a while, and one trick I've seen that may work is if you go ahead and run your client on your machine, and the next frame it has available will usually be your project. So if you render one frame of, out of your project, it helps kind of jumpstart the process from what I observed. And at any time, like, sometimes you have like one or two people rendering and sometimes it will be like you know, a couple of dozen and kind of explodes and everybody's rendering the project. It's kind of amazing. So this is your profile page. I just show you stats about what you've done in the past. So I've uploaded 64 projects. I've order, ordered this many frames. I've rendered this many frames. But this is a cumulative time. I've let my computer out to render. You can do multiple computers. If you have a cluster of computers you want to lend out that get more points faster. Um, so I believe some of the administrators, they kind of attach almost help get the process going along. I haven't seen it really active lately. Um computer that I have active previous projects I've had rendered. I'll show you one of those in a moment how it came out. This I'll show you the last couple of projects that contributed to and it might show you a thumbnail. I'll show you the thumbnail and that's about it of what you rendered project. These are the last couple of times I've logged on with my client. Got me rendering. And you get awards for uh, milestones when you use your client. Based on number of frames you render, you'll get bonus points. 10,000 frames, 5,000 on. About 1,000. The duration of a how long you rendered all together, I believe. I've only got up to twenty two thousand hour mark so far. Uh, how long you have a continuous session? So how long you've been rendering without interruption? I've only gotten to two. Uh, you know, on a reboot for Windows updates. Uh, if you're part of a rendering team, I'm not sure how that works exactly, but I guess projects together. Have points of support based on that, and then when the when Sheep it as a whole reaches a certain milestone, like 30 million frames rendered, if you render during that weekend that that milestone, uh, you'll get bonus points of support. So I I was rendering while they hit 
70 million. I missed 100 million. Did at the time. Moving right along. This is the dashboard for the status page. This is telling me up to date how many frames were rendered at the moment, how many active projects, frames, how many clients, how many frames are currently being processed at the moment. This is a project that I had that was completed. Like I said, all the blue frames represent frames. And when you hover over a frame, it will tell you how long it took the person to render it, the name of the renderer, the, per the person account that, what hardware they use, so on and so forth. Whether they use combo or just. You can see some of the same information while it's in progress. And when your project is completed, sometimes, depending on the size of your project, it will render a mini video file. This is not the final video, it's a reduced size thumbnail. And you can uh, just play it to see how your project Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't frozen. You can go and reset frames if you need. So I just went in to look at my frames close, more closely. And at first it shows you just every 10 frames of your project. Click this button to display all frames. But the concept is you can go and examine all your frames. And you see when maybe something might render your frame and it just turned out like all black or all white or just really distort it, you can hit reset and it will reset that frame for somebody else to go and render it. It will cost you more points. I mean whatever not a, a whole lot of points cost you whatever it takes frame. Have it redone. I want to check the my project is rendering or not. It hasn't Usually when it is being worked on, you'll see all the users that are working on it down here below. Right to that. So, I'll show you how powerful it is. By their calculations of their regular machine, they say that it would took their regular machine two days to render this project. Thousand, almost 7,000 frames for this project. Uh, in real time, it took the project 11 hours. That was because it took a long time for this project to get started for work. So, so it was probably like close to five hours when, for, for actual work to be done. So either way, it is a massive savings in time when you have larger projects. Arm. What I'm probably going to do just for a moment is pause the video, uh, render a frame, and then that kickstarts my project. That's one what happens when the project is in progress. All right, I'm back. Uh, what I just it is like I mentioned before a by the time you let your Client render one of your own frames, which doesn't cost you any points. You don't get points. You don't get points from rendering your own frames. But let that run for one or two frames of my project, and now it seems like are rendering along with me. Person in a few moments, it'll probably be several other people. These are all the frames that have been done. One more person has jumped on. Uh, let's so here is a one that's in progress. 
see the user, um, how long ago they ordered their frame. So, why I wanted to show you this is that I'll show you how long it'll take for the project to be done in their estimation. No more change, we want more start rendering the project. Cumulative uh, render time has been spent this many times. And as your project get, gets uh, rendered by more people, everybody has different hardware. You have to understand that not everybody has hardware and that's internet connection. So sometimes your project will be stuck by a few frames. You might go to a frame and this says it was requested zero minutes ago. Sometimes it'll be like half an hour or an hour, 45 minutes, while wow, everybody only takes a few minutes to render a frame. This one's been going on for a very long time. You can actually reset a frame in progress and it'll give it to somebody else to render. How you do that is go to the status page. And on the status page, you can actually click on each one of these and it gives you all, everything, all the information into whatever that's about, but you go to processing frames, it'll show you a list of all the frames being processed by different projects. Now, any project that is yours, you can reset that frame in progress. What it will do, it will cancel that job for whoever's rendering it, and it will reassign it to somebody else. So I will look at the request time made it render time, how much time it they think it will take to complete the project, frame of your project. Now, all these numbers are, for other projects around, aren't very, I like this one, this, this is my project, and it's taking 25 minutes, but for other users, it's only taking like, between three to five minutes to complete it. I would say this person might be stuck. Probably not, but that one could be stuck, so maybe I would consider if it takes like 10 more minutes and there's still no progress, I would reset the frame and it to somebody else. So that is, or like, oh, this is a good example of somewhere where it's taking an hour and a half. Now, if your project is that complex, maybe that's a realistic number, but if another, but looking at the same project for somebody else, Oh yeah, this is a pretty big project, so again, it depends on what's of your project. If everybody's doing it very quickly and somebody else is taking a long time, instead of resetting, but if everybody's taking a long time, thing might be very complex. Kind of roll with it. Probably gonna spend a lot of points. But anyway, that is the gist of Sheep It Render Farm. Hopefully this is a powerful and important resource for you in the future, especially for your larger projects. Um just wanted to share this with you help you out uh, consider subscribing for more blender tutorials and hit that bell button for notifications uh, consider following me on twitter at w3productions1 w3productions with the number one at the end uh, other than that thanks for watching have a blessed day